Hello everyone and welcome to today's video brought to you by CockroachZone.com. As the title suggests, today we'll be discussing cold weather and if cockroaches can survive what old man winter has to offer. While cockroaches can be annoying and often hard to contain and eliminate, Mother Nature can have a very powerful say depending on where you live. While you shouldn't simply bank on the change of seasons to eliminate cockroaches, many roaches do fall victim to dropping temperatures especially if they find themselves on the outside of your home looking in. Before we begin today's content in full, a quick shout out to you, the viewer. We thank you for watching and we value your support. Much appreciated. Now, let's begin. It's really quite simple when it comes to where cockroaches go in the winter and what they do. They either seek shelter from the cold or they die. Cockroaches do not develop and or reproduce when the temperature is 45 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. Generally speaking, most cockroaches die when temps drop below 15 degrees Fahrenheit. If cockroaches are able to seek shelter, they will enter a hibernation phase known as diapause. During this time, a cockroach's metabolic and growth rate will slow. As long as the area they've chosen for shelter has food and water, they will live, although they will certainly not thrive compared to other times during the year. As for specific shelter areas, inside your home is their first choice during the cold winter months for the most obvious of reasons. However, cockroaches that live outdoors will hunker down and hibernate in piles of wood, leaves, mulch, etc. Because cockroaches are unable to migrate, they have to shelter in place. In this case, the nearest warm spot. Other hibernation locations can include dead or dying trees, the walls and rafters of a home or building, chimneys, basements, drains, pipes, kitchens, and vents. While the majority of these spots involve seeking shelter indoors, or at least partially, cockroaches do have a few outdoor selections, but they're clearly not as cozy and as fruitful as your living room, for example. As briefly noted, death is a very real possibility if the temperatures drop to 15 degrees or below. Unless cockroaches are able to enter your home or other heated buildings, they will not survive, even if they make use of outdoor shelter areas. While young roaches, known as nymphs, can potentially survive under layers of leaves, the odds of survival are still extremely slim. Because the cold is so impactful in terms of ending the life of a cockroach, the freezing technique is one of the many measures that pest controllers will use as a means to win the battle. If a small infestation has developed, then the use of a freezing technique can eliminate a localized issue in short order. Although this measure of treatment becomes more difficult, if large areas of your home are infested and spread out over a wide area of your living space. If you'd like to know how cold weather impacts the American cockroach, German cockroach, and Oriental cockroach specifically, be sure to visit us at cockroachzone.com. We have a full-length and detailed article just for you. We'll talk about this a bit more later. Cockroaches will leave a cold home, but the situation would have to be very unique. Cockroaches hate cold temperatures, and we've already talked about what 45 degrees and below can do, most notably 15 and below. Logic suggests that even a colder house would still be a dream compared to life outside of those four walls. Unless your home drops into the 30s for some bizarre reason, a cockroach is likely to stay indoors. However, in the complete absence of food and water, cockroaches could potentially leave, if only for a short time in an effort to seek a warm location with other necessities. However, this situation would still be rather odd and unique, as your home likely has more than enough food and water. Cockroaches are far more likely to seek out your home for shelter during the cold winter months rather than leave your home for other areas of comfort. When the weather begins to warm, cockroaches will begin to emerge. Early spring is a good baseline point of reference, but it really all depends on where you live. Obviously, temperatures will begin to warm faster in South Florida, compared to Montana, for example. Just like us humans love to crawl out of our winter slumber when the temperature is warm, the same is true for cockroaches. The warmer, the better, but not too hot. Once summer arrives and the temperatures go to extreme levels, cockroaches will return from the outdoors back inside. This means that your home could be ground zero. The early spring and the scorching heat of summer will draw cockroaches to your home as it will likely serve as the ideal temperature. Not too hot, not too cold. Infestations can occur rapidly during the summer months. Before you know it, you could have a major problem. Transitioning back to our core topic, cockroaches in the winter. There are measures you can take to protect your home. While many cockroaches will die due to the cold weather, and this time could be viewed as a window to let your guard down, 
there are important protection efforts that you can take to eliminate a potential problem. Let's be honest, the last thing you want to see in your kitchen is a cockroach on Christmas morning. Not the best visual. Here are a few helpful prevention tips for those cold winter months. Number one, keep all food containers sealed. This includes bags. Number two, clean up all food debris after a meal, dishes, crumbs, etc. Number three, remove all garbage in a timely fashion. And finally, number four, plug up any gaps in your home, foundation areas, baseboards, etc. Seal them off as soon as possible. And on that note, that will close things out for the video portion of this material, but we still have plenty of information for you. Earlier in this piece, we mentioned an article, and it's waiting for you at cockroachzone.com. If you'd like even more information concerning this very topic, please head on over to cockroachzone.com and take advantage of the content that is available. Are you watching us off-site? If so, please click the initial link in the description box that is available to you. Said link will take you to our in-depth article. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.